emergency broadcast. We're sorry. All circuits are busy now. Will you please try your call again? Hello YouTube and Preppers, this is the Comms Prepper with the video on how you can receive PSK31 or Phase Shift King BAW31 shortwave amateur radio signals on a mobile device using an application you can download and a standard commercial shortwave receiver so this way you don't have to have an amateur radio license but you can receive those signals and in an emergency this can be valuable if you're looking for information uh, from a regional or international source and what I have here is I have a Texan PL660 shortwave radio and I've done a previous video on this radio and I'll put a link down below and I have this connected to an iPad running an application called PSKER PSK -er. and my interface here and I've showed this in previous videos is I have an Apple camera adapter which gives you a USB port on your mobile device here in this case the Apple iPad and then I bought a Logitech USB audio interface and this thing actually gives you a microphone jack and a speaker jack so you can actually pump audio into your iPad and I'm doing that because I don't want to pick up ambient noise from the room you can use the microphone on your mobile device and just put it right next to the speaker of your radio but then people opening doors and talking that gives you interference so this gives you a nice clean signal interface between the shortwave radio and the mobile device for those of you who have never heard PSK31 signals, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on here and I've got it tuned up. Now behind the static there, it'll sound like, uh, I don't know, like ringing in your ears. And that's actually the PSK signals from the other stations that uh, the best way I can describe it is ringing in your ears. And each transmission is occupying a different slice of the audio spectrum on that channel. So what we're going to do is take the audio out of the radio here through the headphone jack and run it into this USB audio device, bring it into the iPad and those signals will be displayed in this black box here, what they call the waterfall and you'll see green shaded lines falling down like raindrops kind of like uh, that movie The Matrix, how those green characters drop down on the screen each one of those lines is a conversation and you can actually touch this tuning bar here and select the conversation you want to monitor. So let me pause here and I'll get everything connected up and what I'm going to do is try to tape one of these earbuds next to the microphone on the camera so you can also hear the waterfall action taking place. So let me pause here. Okay guys, we're picking up this transmission here. We got somebody calling CQ or any station and I hope you can see the shaded green lines coming down. These are actually the waterfalls of the individual stations transmitting and we'll try to pick up a conversation here and see if we can copy it and I hope you can hear the audio with the other earbud taped next to the microphone so here we go, we got a station calling CQCQ CQ outside of EU meaning somebody in Europe wanting to call outside of Europe and their call sign is SK9KWS and we'll see if somebody responds to him again calling CQ outside of Europe and of course over here these other green lines if you can see them or other conversations taking place so you can again just touch that area and move that tuning bar and you'll start copying that transmission so you can bounce back and forth this is kind of neat that it's kind of a neat application and copy what's going on out there so there's a nice strong one coming in here so let's see what this guy is sending out so here we go we got a conversation taking place I hope you guys can see that coming out. So re receive strength tone, receive signal tone 599, 599. The guy sending his name is QTH, or is where he lives. And he's asking how he copies. Now, again, this is only one channel, so you have a lot of conversations taking place within this little bit of bandwidth here. So I'm counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 conversations taking place. And we can bounce back and forth between them. So here's another station, actually in Russia, calling CQ for any station. So we'll see if somebody comes back and answers him.
And it doesn't look like he got an answer yet. Let's see what's going on with this conversation over here. And yeah, we'll try this one here. This looks like a fresh one starting up. Now, if I had my map, I could tell you what countries these call signs are from. So this is just a demonstration or a quick overview of how to receive PSK31 signals with a typical shortwave radio that does have upper sideband or SSB capability and interfacing it into a mobile device. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and subscribing to my channel. This has been the Comms Prepper with the first video with the new camera on how to receive PSK signals using a mobile device and a shortwave radio.